Well, damn, you got me, dude. The thing that's you 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 predicted that I would say that the thing that's very clearly a joke is a joke. Very good. You got me there. Okay, so really quickly before we play some Death Stranding, I am going to go over my most recent and without a doubt funniest cancellation because this cancellation isn't anything like actually serious i'm not losing subscribers over this and my channel's not getting disliked it's not like there's just nothing to it it's the biggest reach i've seen from people that don't like me on the internet and basically everybody on lefty twitter is on my side it's just the crazy psychotic woke scolds that aren't and that's just an everyday thing for me at least so it's fine but i will admit an unusual amount of death threats this time around. We'll get into them in a minute, but an unusual amount of violent threats. Usually the death threats come in from the tankies, and I want to be completely clear with all of you. I've received hundreds of times more death threats from the left than I have the right. I would argue the left online is more toxic than the right in this respect. So, like, I, I maybe you guys disagree, um, at least in my experience, the left has been far more toxic than the right online, especially when it comes to violent threats. To be fair, most of the people sending the death threats are like 14-year-old trans girls who have like a list of mental disorders in their bio. So it's kind of like, it's kind of hard to take it seriously. It's very obviously like um, these very uh, vulnerable people who are very sad and kind of weak who are looking for some way to exercise a power fantasy in that way. So I can't really blame them. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at why I got canceled. Here's the clip. Here's the clip. In fact, the clip was actually posted by a friend of mine who's in chat right now, Lil BBG. You may know her because she made a bunch of uh, edits in my videos and my streams, especially back when I was doing Honey Pop streams. Um, and it just so happens that uh, she has an OnlyFans. And so uh, she came into my chat like a week ago? How long ago was this? August 31st. So what is this? Yeah, like, yeah, a week ago. Exactly a week ago. She went in and she said that she had an OnlyFans and I made this horribly offensive, swerfy, anti-sex work joke. How could I, how could I, Xander Hall, be a swerf? How could I do this to you guys? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Mind you, this was, I mean, it's quoted... Y'all heard the man start seven. So let's go ahead and watch. Let's go ahead and, and hear the horrible thing I said that got me canceled. Honestly, what I should do is here's what we do, okay? We get all here's how here's the big money making method, okay? Here's the big money making method. Hear me out, okay, chat? Here's what I do, alright? I get all the women in my community to make OnlyFans accounts, and I get them to show their OnlyFans super hard in my um uh, uh, yeah, it, Lil BG has the right idea. Shill it really hard in my chat and in my community. So, as you can see, right here in the clip, the sex worker who I was talking about literally made the joke, sub to my OnlyFans so I can afford to donate to Zan, Pepe. For those of you that are not aware... The Pepe emote is one that one posts when they are being sarcastic. In, in case you are not very caught up on internet culture. And super hard in my, um, uh, uh, yeah, it, Lil BG has the right idea. Shill it really hard in my chat and in my community. All the horny dudes then go and they subscribe to the OnlyFans of all the girls in my communities. Then those girls get really wealthy and they can start donating to me. Because dudes will drop money for titties, but they might not drop that money for the streamer they like. Pimp Zan? Wait, is that actually pimping? Wait, I just realized I just advocated for pimping. <laughs> Honestly? So, uh, yeah. That's it. That's actually it. That joke is actually what got me canceled. And it wasn't even like woke scolds clipped it like dishonestly to post it. It was literally a joke that I repeated from a chatter who's a friend of mine who is a sex worker and has an OnlyFans and I was literally shouting out her OnlyFans. And then she posted on Twitter 
to promote her OnlyFans. And then all hell broke loose. So basically, this is what occurred, okay? So obviously, Lil BBG posted the clip to promote her OnlyFans. And uh, they, and then Lil BBG realized that this was like getting me canceled. And so she quote tweeted it. And she said this. Can't believe you took what I thought was a cute way to promote my shit and turned it into some sort of evil master plan that Xan apparently has. Y'all so know this is a joke, right? And I posted the clip and joked along, so I'm not offended. What the fuck is going on? Then my girlfriend Lonnie responds, Wait, people are actually mad about this? Jesus fucking Christ. Go through the quote tweets. I can't believe these people exist, for real. Good lord. But then again, I should have seen this coming, lol. Woke scolds and XDS sufferers. Or Xander Hall derangement syndrome suffers. Um, gonna woke scold and suffer from XDS, I suppose. And then we've got one of them right here who um, I believe if this is the person I'm thinking is actually doing, you know how we all shit on Destiny a while back for saying that like a bunch of Twitter lefties literally like collect mental disorders and identities in their bio, like it's it's like a like a video game uh, buff list. This I I remember seeing this person's bio just because I had to know. I had to know. Um, and, and, oh my god, this person is actually exactly that. This, can we get, can we get a look at this? Let's, let's get a look at this. Oh, wait, why can't I see it? Wait, no, did they take out everything out of their bio? Wait, no, no. Hold on. New incognito window. Let me check. Maybe it's just because I have them blocked, or maybe they have me blocked, and I have them blocked? I don't know. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's, it's that. Okay, here we go. Here... So obviously they, she, the pronouns, okay, cool, fine. Black, vegan, crippled, queer, gremlin core, solar punk, lesbian, witch, artist, dreamer, writer, YouTuber, not a girl, go away, 16 plus only, please. I'd like to point out that according to people in the replies, this person is in their 20s and has 16 plus only in their bio, which kind of susses me out a little bit. Like, wait, are... Why? Why 16 plus? Why not 18 plus? You're an adult. If you're posting anything NSFW, it should be 18 plus. Maybe this person's from... I don't know. Anyway, uh, I, I thought that was really funny how they literally have like the, the most stereotypical uh, lefty bio. So I thought that was funny. Um, anyway, woke scolds, XDS, charming. I'm sure you and Lil Xan will raise strong, smart children. And my girlfriend ends up having like a like an argument with this person about how we're not planning to have children, and we're not. Um, so this is like the first the first bit of memes that came from this, okay? Um, and then we got we got this, and I oh no, I got blocked. Fuck, I'm blocked by this person, but you could see a little bit of it here. I am begging men to stop thinking they can use femme bodies to generate wealth for their benefit. Begging, and then quote tweeting the video. Um, and then down below, um, uh, Rose and Arrows here, um, posted, uh, the, like, the full screenshot here. Uh, so here's the original tweet we're just seeing. Asking doesn't seem to be working. Have we tried violence? It would be deserved. Let's try it. Dude, I'm gonna be completely honest here. These people would crumble if I yelled at them loud enough. Okay. They would crumble if I yelled at them loud enough, all right? Like, these are not people that would ever be actually engaging in violence. I want to make it very clear. It sounds like a threat to me. It's not, it's an idle threat. So here's the thing. Death, like, I get more death threats from the left by far. Magnitudes more death threats from the left than I ever have in my entire career or my life from the alt-right or Nazis or even just the moderate right Far, far, far more death threats from the left, okay? Far more, far more. However, I am in no way intimidated by left-wing death threats, okay? N not at all, okay? Not even a little, okay? Uh, hold on, I got a DM. I think maybe that might... Oh, accident. I think that DM might be from Lil BBG. Oh, yeah, she sent a bunch of screenshots. Okay, there we go. Oh, let's look at this. We've got Tank Girl here saying, Okay, so Xander Hall and all the freshly 18-year-old sex workers, buddies grooming hard in those discords, eh? I bet this person believed in the sex cult drama. 
This dude is disgusting. Patreon simp pimping should get you hit with a brick bare minimum. Do not call me the N-word. Uh, I am actually quite offended by this, okay? I am white. You need to call me a cracker, okay? Or honky, or white boy, or mayo head. Or may mayo head, I prefer, okay? Uh, mayo head said he want to be a sex trafficker. That's crazy. It's really weird how, like, the takes have ranged from, like, I'm a groomer to I'm a sex trafficker to, like, I'm a swerf. It's really bizarre how far it's gone. Uh, here, let me open a few more of these. Oh, my God. I I'm just getting a look at some of these, and I'm, like, I'm blown away. Okay, here's some more. Uh, geek ass, this is why I don't miss being on Twitch in any capacity. No offense to the lovely streamers that I'm mutuals with, but 99% of the people on that website make me want to unalive myself. I, what I'm really curious about here is, like, how many of these people are actually as deranged as the others, right? Like, is this person, are these people as deranged as the people, like, death, like, when I say deranged, I'm not talking about in their reaction to this, but in their interpretation of this and this is what really like this is what i'm really genuinely curious about with these woke scold types okay this is like what what boggles my mind and what i really want to know um more about is like what it, what is wrong in these people's heads like where where is their like what is the malfunction going on with them that causes them to see a clip like that and to not recognize it's a joke. I'm sure someone could call me ableist and say that it's that like maybe they have autism and now I'm being ableist or something, but I genuinely don't think it's that. It could be anything from, and I think this is probably most likely, um, very possible that this is just like they already didn't like me and so now they're finding like anything to use as an excuse, but I don't know. I'm really curious. Like how many of these people just have like a misled idea of who I am. I'm really curious. This person just says, do you hear yourself? I mean, yes. These headphones are open ear. I can hear myself. Incel vibes. Ah, yes. Uh, known incel Xanderhal. Local streamer tries to get his underage viewers to finance his life with their nudes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little thing out here. It's ironic that the people calling me swerfs are saying this because you would think that, like, they would know anything about anything involving sex work. But OnlyFans, for example, has a pretty stringent verification policy to figure out the age of users on their website to make sure they're 18 or older. That goes for consumers of content as well as creators of it, from my understanding. You have to have an ID um, and a, like, debit card with, like, a bank or whatever or something like that in order to use OnlyFans. Am I wrong? And then this per person says, bro, bro, this dude is trying to pimp 18-year-olds fucking told y'all in before it's a joke. This clip is, what if I pimped barely legal girls? Just kidding, unless. Dude, this is my favorite thing that woke scolds do. They take something that's obviously a joke, but then they say, don't even try to say it's a joke. And it's like, well, damn, you got me, dude. The thing that's, you, you, you predicted that I would say that the thing that's very clearly a joke is a joke. Very good. You got me there. Uh, and then we got a final one here. Can't believe this dipshit actually thinks he's a leftist. Like, what? Yeah, there were a lot of people also calling me, uh, Nazis. I'm confused. Is 18 years old underage now or something? Yes, kindest. Um, like, here's the thing, though. Uh, when it comes to these types of people, it doesn't matter what the age of the person is. Do you remember... Like, the ableist fucking shitstorm that happened with the, um, with the, the fucking harem drama thing, where they tried to claim that, um, the, uh, the girl who caused the drama, even though she was 19 and so was I, or 20, I, yeah, we were both the same age, we were literally both the same age, um, because, uh, she had autism, they claimed that she was mentally underage, and that that makes me a groomer. And I, I didn't, I, I, I was not aware that the left, like, thought so little of people with autism that they literally thought that people with autism are mentally underage, even though 
you could not tell that she had autism. She had, if she actually did have autism, which could have very much not been true, um, it was at least extraordinarily high functioning autism. How did I show uh, you the, um, oh yeah, dude, there were so many sex workers that got mad about this too, which is really bizarre because like the meme was the, the joke was actually meant to be kind of wholesome. It was supposed to be like the, the things that I had said prior to this joke was literally me saying like, yeah, I don't care if you do like only if you're like a fan of me or you are a friend of mine or you're just in my community and you do only fans. I don't care if you like mention it in chat and you like talk about having an only fans and stuff like that. We're pretty, you know, we're very sex worker positive here. We're very pro sex work here. Um, I mean, fucking obviously. Um, so I figured that like I, I, I thought it was a very like wholesome joke. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, you're, well, what if? What if I get all the dudes in the community to donate to the OnlyFans girls and make them really rich, and then they'll be rich enough to donate? Because uh, it was a joke about how my my fans aren't Oilers. I mean, what do you want from me, dude? What do you want? I don't know. I think this is the funniest. Um... Oh, wait. She linked me another one. Another bizarre thread. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to kill myself. I can see these already. Oh, my God. I'm going full right wing, boys. This isn't funny, and I hate his voice. No lip, white boy, greasy face. Now you guys understand why I'm self-conscious about my voice. And yes, I do hate my voice as well. She is correct. My voice is awful. Um, her OnlyFans is a money-grabbing scam. This this per wait who? What? What are you talking about, Mods Eleven? I just banned you or unbanned you from the server last night. Don't push your luck. I don't know if you're trying to claim that like OnlyFans is like a. Just because he sounds so arrogant, Lamel. I I don't know where this comes from. Do I like ever sound arrogant to you guys? Please be honest with me, okay? No bans if you say yes, okay? Because I am genuinely curious. Do I actually sound arrogant? I this is just the way that I talk. I though to be fair, I don't talk like this off stream quite as much. The reason I talk the way that I do is because it's entertaining. If I just sat here and I talked like this all day, like I was doing some dry video essay response to a PragerU video, um, I have a feeling that a lot less of my fans would be watching. How fun is this, guys? Do you really enjoy my tone here? How entertaining of a streamer am I right now? Are you guys having fun? Do you guys want to keep watching a stream where I talk like this? Or do you want to watch a stream where I talk like this? I have a feeling you probably want to watch a stream where I talk like this. Just guessing. Such typical white man behavior, always trying to figure out how they can benefit in the end of it. Good thing he's an incel with no women in his community of losers. <laughs> I have, like, as far as YouTube goes, I mean, maybe these people are TERFs. I have a high, there's a very high likelihood these people are TERFs. So maybe they don't consider trans women actual women, maybe. Um, but, like, I can literally disprove this with a few clicks of a button. It's, it's like, bizarre how wrong these people are. They've, they, they, like, this clip, this 30-second, like, joke clip is the most these people have ever seen in my content. Here. I can go into my YouTube area here. Let's go. Open it up. Analytics. Let's go ahead and look at uh, our gender and age demographics here on the YouTube channel and see how few women there are in this incels community. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a look at that. 24.8% female. Almost 25%. Now, maybe people are lying here. It's completely possible. Um, and I'd imagine a fair portion of the women here in this 25% are trans, so it's very possible that maybe the um, the people uh, getting mad at me don't believe that trans women are women, personally. I'm very pro-trans rights. Uh, if you don't think trans women are women, then you can get the fuck out, uh, frankly. Um, <clears throat> but uh, no, I'd say as far as YouTubers go, I probably got a unusually high uh, amount of women in my, in my uh, community. Uh, yeah, incel male community, but you're also grooming the women in your community to make OnlyFans money for you. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Um... <laughs> wow, this is so fuck fucksing fucks king. Disgusting. I hate this man with the force of a thousand suns. It's okay, Jess the Bonfire Kami. Uh, 
I know you hate me, and I know my existence upsets you, but your obs uh, existence does not upset me, mostly because big booba, but also because um, the fact that you're constantly seething with hatred towards me means that my existence, just passively kind of being around, upsets you, and I find that very funny, because you're a piece of shit. So he just wants to siphon money off of women in AFAB's work for his own pocket. This is really the stupidest thing I've heard in a while. I'm glad he has me blocked. He's trying so hard to be Vosh, it's pathetic. Ah, uh, there's the, uh, the Xander Hall's, uh, bootleg Vosh meme there. That's always nice. I just realized I advocated for pimping. I would like to be... I would like to beat this fool senseless. Be careful, my first account that I had for nine years was perma banned because I because said all his supporters should uh, be the opposite of alive. Dude, I... They, <laughs> dude, they, they like... They're so angry. I like... These people lucked out on not being Nazis. Clearly this individual is not white, um, so that probably contributed a lot in their department, but like... A lot of these people, like all the white boys commenting in all of this, were like one false turn away from being crazy, toxic 4chan Nazis. But instead, they um, uh, they they went to the left and they became toxic, like woke, scoldy lefties. They're all the same type of people. The type of people who become Nazis and the type of people who become woke scolds. They're all the they're the same type of people. They just went down different roads politically. Yeah, they're, they're, they're young people with nothing going on in their lives, and they just have a ton of pent-up aggression. You're completely right, Lonnie, yeah. Yep, Lonnie's always right. She's always right. Most of them will grow out of it? Oh, most certainly. A lot of these people are going to grow out of this, like, without a doubt, and they're going to look back at this kind of stuff, and they're going to cringe their fucking brains out. Also, I have to show this. This, this exchange, this exchange was hysterical. I really wish we could have gotten it. I, for some reason, it won't show, show up because I have this person blocked. I figured I could click it and it would, sh like, show the tweet, but I guess I can't. The person accuses me of being a swerf and calls me a coward for blocking their main. So I quote tweet them and say, Want to come on stream and prove I'm a swerf? Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. PST in my Discord server. And then I drop the link. The person, of course, pussies out and says, Why would I have to prove you're a swerf? You literally just made a pimp joke. It's gross. The shit pimps have done to traffic women and femmes into sex slavery, and you're out here making pimp jokes. Edgy jokes only serve to show others who they aren't safe around. Literally actually doing the left camp meme thing. Remember, though, I made the joke first? I know. That's the thing, though. Every- th this is the thing. What I want all of you watching this to imagine as we read through all of these comments and all of these, like, hate threads and whatnot, is that they're criticizing me for making a joke that a woman who does sex work made that I just repeated from my chat. So when they say this is, like, white male behavior, <laughs> they're accusing this- this- this woman of engaging in white male behavior, like, by extent, because I was just repeating the joke that she made. Um, and- and so then he obviously turns it down, so I said, thought so, who's the pussy now? Dude, you still won't unblock my main. I'm just saying, instead of your stream, how about we debate this in the streets? <laughs> Now it's time to pull up the picture of him. <laughs> Look at this fucking dude. <laughs> oh my. F <laughs> the streets in question. <laughs> I've never seen more of a soy boy in my life. Oh my god. Do you guys know? Okay, he's actually whiter than you? I know, which is surprising because I don't go outside. You should call him and explain to him his false perspectives about you. Dude, I wish I could have a conversation with these people, okay? I wish I could. I tried to get some of them on. Like, I'd love to. I'd absolutely love to have a conversation with these fucking weirdos. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, 
this might be the funniest drama I have ever seen. It's not actually very serious. They're they're all just kind of like having little mental breakdowns on Twitter and crying themselves to sleep. It's not that big a deal, but it is still fucking hilarious. It is still hysterically uh, ridiculous how mad these people are over literally nothing. Anyway, um, this isn't like a big, oh, I got canceled type thing. It's more of just us laughing at weirdos on Twitter. Um, God, I love this website. Anyway, you know what to do. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon, follow me on my social media, all linked down below, especially Twitter. Can sit do you not? Hold on. Clearly you want to be on Twitter to witness all of this shit going down. Do you not? Do you want to miss the next time this happens, or do you want to be there live when something like this happens next? Come on, you guys know what you want to do. Anyway, 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 anyway. If you want to support me financially, of course, you can always start an OnlyFans and then uh, get really rich off of it and then donate all your money to me, uh, as I am a pimp, apparently. Um, <laughs> so stupid, dude. Anyway, you can support me however you like, whether it be on my website uh, financially or on Twitch, YouTube, whatever, or just leaving a like or subscribing or commenting on the video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching and welcome to the Xander Hall pimp arc, evidently.